Hi there, Brett here with Blick Digital. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through resending an email broadcast to any contact that didn't open that initial email. So here's what that really means is that you send an email out and for whatever reason, somebody doesn't open it and therefore a couple days later or maybe even a couple hours later, they get that same email and usually with a different subject line uh, to try to get them, entice them to open that email. So that's basically, basically it that we're gonna go through today. What I wanna point out though, is that this isn't 100% accurate all the time. And what I mean by that is open rates aren't always able to be captured by Infusionsoft 100% of the time. And to talk about the specifics here, sometimes you'll know like with Outlook or Gmail, sometimes it doesn't let you, sometimes it doesn't download the images right away and it gives you a little warning or prompt that says, you know, would you like to download the images in this email? Well, what that does, that allows, that's the, basically the tracking mechanism that allows Infusionsoft and other email providers to actually uh, track whether or not that person has opened this email. So what could end up happening here if you follow through with this is that you would potentially resend the same email to somebody who did in fact read your email. So, uh, you know, if you're okay with that, then go ahead and, and you can follow the instructions on this video and you should be fine. But I did wanna just point that out just in case you're wondering, um, you know, maybe somebody reaches back out and says, you know, I already got this email. So uh, to make this happen, let me first show you how it looks inside of the email broadcasts area. And then I'll show you how to set up a, a basic automation uh, within the campaign builder to do the same thing. So uh, broadcast is, is a good way to go about it if you've already sent a broadcast and then you're like, oh man, that didn't get a great open rate. Let me go ahead and resend that. Uh, if you already know you wanna go ahead and do this, I would just build it out in the, uh, in the campaign builder ahead of time. So let me just show you here. The first thing is an email broadcast area. You go to marketing and then there's reports. And a couple down, you'll see this section called email broadcasts. And what you'll see is it says, check the status of any email batches that you've sent. So in reality, what this is gonna allow you to do is see all emails, including the emails that were sent out of the campaign builder. Infusionsoft sends them as batches. And so uh, you may get a screen that looks like this. You may also get a screen, I'm gonna just close this. You may also get a screen that looks like this. And I think mo in most cases, you'll probably get a screen that looks like this. What you're gonna wanna do is choose who the email sender was. And then if you want, you can put uh, some date ranges in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I know, I can't remember which user did this, uh, but it was me. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna find the email. In this case, uh, here's one. So I have a couple of emails here and what you'll see is that uh, on these first two, they had a 0% open rate. And this is all testing, so don't worry about that. Um, and what I wanna do is resend it to the four people who didn't open it. Now your numbers will obviously be a lot different, but the, the concept here is the same. You click on view report, And what it's gonna do is it's gonna break down this email for you. It's gonna tell you all the delivered, the unopens, uh, the opens, the unopens, opt-outs, complaints, everything. You can also click here to view the actual email just so you can kind of refresh yourself on what that looks like. So what, you'll, what you're gonna wanna do now is click on this report here, which is the four unopened contacts. When I click on that, it will actually give me a list of those that didn't open this email. And so what I'm gonna do is choose all four of those contacts by checking this box. And I'm gonna to go to actions. And then this basically allows you to do bulk actions within Infusionsoft. This actions button, you're probably already aware, allows you to mass supply tags or update owners or export. What do you wanna do? Um, it's all there to do in bulk. But in this case, what I wanna do is send a broadcast. And when I click on that option, it's gonna open up the email broadcast builder, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanna do. I wanna click get started. And because I've sent this email already, it will show up in my previously sent uh, section. So that's the last piece that I want to show you here is there is a previously sent tab here. So I'm going to click on that. And let's just say this was the email that uh, that was sent to originally that nobody opened. Th that's the one I want to go ahead and click use as draft. And so now what I've basically done is I've recreated the, uh, the, the broadcast itself, but I've confined the group to only those that didn't open it. Again, one more caveat here that I want to point out is that those four may have opened the email potentially, but Infusionsoft, for whatever reason, wasn't able to track that. Again, just wanna point that out. So I'm gonna click details down um, to open this up. And what you're gonna see here is that there are in fact four contacts. If I open that up, here they are again. And um, this now is gonna go out to 
that list as you know a separate email, but it's the same uh, that I sent last time. So what I would recommend in this case is definitely changing up the subject line just to you know try something new, um, and that's you know definitely worth checking out. By the way, there also is an A/B test. So if it's just email subjects that you're wanting to test, you can also just do that all at once. If you're ready to send out an email right away, you can go ahead and do an A/B test, um, and you know try that as well. But that's basically it. That's how you would resend a broadcast email to the group of contacts that didn't open it. You just follow the instructions from here with scheduling and everything else. So that's that's kind of the first version. The next version that I want to get into is, you know, you you already know ahead of time either as part of like an ongoing automation or even a broadcast that you're gonna wanna resend a version of that email, if not the same email with a new subject line uh, to you know to the group of contacts that didn't open it. So if that's the case, then what you would do is, let me go ahead and exit out of here. I'm gonna go, as soon as this uh, loads here, I'm gonna jump into the campaign builder of Infusionsoft and set up a really basic automation to make this happen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the campaign, I'm gonna hit create my own. And in this case, I'm just gonna call this whatever, uh, whatever the, you know, the purpose of this particular campaign would be might be something like um, uh, an event invitation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose now a sequence, and this would include the invitation emails. And so within here, I would create both of the invites. So this would be version one, so I'm just gonna say V1. And then uh, I might wait. In fact, what I'm what I'd probably do is put a date timer here first, which allows me to control 100% when that first email is sent. So I'm going to go ahead and say, um, you know, maybe like next week or in two weeks at 8 a.m. I want version one to go out. And then uh, again, maybe a couple days after that. So this is, this is uh, 422. I'm going to say on 424. I'd want that next email to go out for people who didn't open. So I'll just say V2 unopens. So this same process, by the way, can be used for clicking as well. So if they, maybe they do open the email, but they don't click, that would be another route. And then another option could be that they don't take whatever the real action here is, that maybe they don't register for the event. So there's a couple of things we can do here. In this case, I just want it to be those that, again, didn't open. That's the purpose of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. And I'm gonna uh, set it up. I'm gonna have to set it up here a little bit in order to, to illustrate this whole thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this template. I'm gonna put in a fake subject line here. Market is ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. And this time, I'm going to choose a different kind of version uh, of an email. And I'm going to say, why didn't you open my last email? <laughs> that would be a very bad idea, by the way. Don't do that, uh, just for illustration purposes only. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mark this whole sequence now as ready. So we've got version one and then version two for those that didn't open. All right, so there is a goal in here. It's called uh, email opened. I'm going to drag this out and I'm gonna connect it, and now I'm gonna double click on this. And what it's saying is this goal is achieved when uh, either all of the emails have been opened or any of the emails have been opened. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose any. It doesn't really matter in this particular case because I'm only doing one, but I'm just gonna do any. It's just the V1 that will pull them out. So this goal is being achieved when that V1 email is open. Therefore, it will pull them out of the sequence because I've got this setup it says when a goal is achieved, this sequence stops immediately. So in this case, this is the goal, which is email opened. And we're gonna stop that sequence as soon as V1 is opened. And that's it. You know, you can do more automation here, of course. You can, you know, once they open that email, you can go take them somewhere else and, and route them and do all sorts of cool things with automation, of course. But uh, again, it's beyond the purpose of this video. Just wanted to show you that there are really two methods for uh, resending an email uh, to those that didn't open the initial email. Hopefully this was helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, good luck, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.